Hi Taurus and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of September. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. This is for any sun, moon or rising Taurus. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, a key uh, idea and awareness for the week for you is to find the balance. And it seems that you have a lot on your plate and that you've been busy and that you are doing a, uh, a mighty job of trying to juggle everything and to keep it going and to not lose uh, the connection and the grip on your pentacles. And it feels like it's never ending the sense of having to juggle, of having to balance. In good times, bad times, rough weather, good weather, you're always having to make decisions about how you juggle the obligations, the responsibilities, and the things that you want to achieve or create or build in your life. Time spent at work, time spent with your spouse or in your relationship, and time spent having to pay the bills and do all those other fun things. So decisions to be made with respect to the balance and to the juggling, the activities that you are facing for the week. With the Page of Swords, always an interesting illustration. We see the young page here looking like he's in a, de in a defensive position, looking over his shoulder. The clouds are gray, the wind is blowing, He's ready. He's ready for what may come in terms of obstacles or adversity or challenges because the swords are dealing with the challenges with sometimes the difficult things that we go through in life. And so he's young, he's inexperienced, but he's willing and ready. And often uh, with the swords, he's going to use his intelligence and his reason and his logic to try to problem solve. It's going to start there, which is to use facts or figures or information to help see the truth in the matter, to get the facts, to really understand what's going on, to find clarity. You find clarity by understanding different sides of an issue, who's doing what, who's saying what, how does it match up, and ready for whatever's going to come his way. So there's a lot to be said for that, that um, in mindset wise, you may feel that maybe something is coming, but that you're going to be able to handle it. So in terms of guidance, we have a focus on relationships. And the Two of Cups, another two card, the Two of Cups is a pretty big relationship card. This is a card of equals, of people who find each other, who are more than likely maybe meant to be together. They're eye to eye, toe to toe, cup to cup, hand to hand here. And there's a real sense here of a possibility of, of to connect with someone who really understands you, where you become a very strong unit together and there's joy, there's happiness, there's uh, passion, there's all kind of wonderful um, aspects to this relationship. So for those that are single, you may be in a position to meet someone like this. So again, you have to be open, you have to not narrow your focus, you might want to open up the lens for a bit and to, to you, you never know who it could be. And if you limit yourself to a type, then you might miss out. For those that are in a relationship, this can be making it better, tweaking it, listening to each other, maybe sharing more deeply. But there's a strong, strong emotional bond here and the potential here is so great. And then for some of you who are not in the dating game and not particularly interested, you know, this is about significant relationships. It can be sibling relationships. It could be 
a work relationship that is really important to you, a best friend, a business partner. But the focus in your guidance is, is the balance and the harmony and the cooperation with respect to this very important relationship. And seeing the three of pentacles here, this is a group, to not, group dynamic where we're working to build something beautiful, this cathedral, where there is cooperation, where there is um, work being done together to reach this goal. And having the talent and the ability and the desire to do so. So you may very well be finding harmony in this relationship and working well together and willing to put in the work into the relationship to build something beautiful. Some of you, this might be a, a literal meaning of, again, t a, an office project where you're working as a team, it's going well. You may not be getting the recognition right now, but it will come, you know, once this beautiful building is constructed, people will take notice. So as possible outcomes, how interesting with the devil and then the ace of cups. So the Ace of Cups is right below the Two of Cups, but with the Devil, Major Arcana. This Devil card really is, uh, he's there to make a mess of things and to put you in a position where you have a misstep or you do things that impact your development, your spiritual growth, your growth and your um, evolving nature. So whether this relates to substance abuse, uh, impulsive shopping or spending or materialism, obsession, sexual shenanigans, cheating, third parties, you know, there's so many ways that the devil can creep in and can wreak havoc. Ultimately, the devil wants you not to have faith. So everybody has to deal with their own devil. And it's a matter of A, being aware. B, of making the decision that I'm now ready to deal with this. It's gotten the better of me for, you could, someone could say it's, you know, my drinking has gotten the better of me for all these years. I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to just drink maybe on the weekends or something. Just an example. So, you know, we have to, acknowledge it and to not live in denial of whatever it is that is getting in our own way. This couple nude and looks like they're, it's, they're under the command of the devil. These chains are loosely bound. Again, when you are ready to take that step to get released from this oppression, uh, uh, this Behavior that doesn't serve you. And yes, it is oppressive. It is it's the things that we do to screw things up. So it's a matter of paying attention to the devils. And uh, again, you know, when we look at this page of swords, it's using your smarts and your intelligence and your ability to handle things on an even, that you're ready to deal perhaps with whatever it is that's limiting you. I would say that this reading is ending positively because if you are making a small step toward dealing with the devil type behavior in your life, you have happiness and happiness and happiness. Emotions that are overflowing, that are being expressed relationships that are developed and becoming very, very key and important to your happiness and to the joy that you feel in life. 
the Ace of Cups, a gift or blessing from the universe, telling you that love and happiness are yours. You have this wonderful chance for love and happiness. But you may have to deal with some of these things, like the devil, in order to get there. It's a lot of work sometimes to do that. But you will be able to do that. So let's get a little information from the oracle cards for a focus area or a meditation point for the week. unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. Eyes wide open, right? Facing forward, ready to take on the unknown territory. So now let's choose a card for spirit or emotional self. Strength. Strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence and conviction and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone as we're always with you. Having faith in yourself, having faith in the universe, having faith in spirit. Strength gives you the faith in yourself to be able to handle the missteps, the limiting behaviors that the devil uh, hopes that will take. And finally, let's get a little more information for love. We do have love here with the cards, so let's see what additional uh, messages we have. Love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving of all the wonderful things that life has to offer. So very true. And when you are able to love who, who you are, you are able to have that wonderful like attracts like experience, which is the comfort that you have from loving thyself and really believing that you deserve to have love in your life. The love, the universe will put you in the right spot when the person that's meant to be with you is also ready. It's a beautiful thought. I hope that you have an amazing week. If you found something helpful with this reading, please subscribe, like, share, and comment. And I wish you the best, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.